what's the deal y'all and welcome back to my channel period welcome back and if you know then what's the deal like set right in because it's lit on my page so anyway so i'm getting my hair done today as y'all can tell by the title i'm getting a 400 dollar hairstyle and i'm already late and well i was about to be late but she said if you five minutes late that's a 20 dollar upcharge so that's why i'm trying to make sure i get there on time snippy snap not not skip a beat because baby you got enough money and i'm not spending a dime over that all right y'all so i'm keeping straight for 11 miles so i got a little time to talk so i want to know like what would y'all consider a 400 dollars hairstyle like what would you pay 400 dollars for me personally i feel like if you specialize in the hair that you do then you can really charge whatever you want because one thing about it people are going to pay for what they want no matter what it is and if you lowball yourself people are going to lowball you but if you you know you specialize in what you do and people want their stuff right like me people like me they're going to pay the full price regardless this game system coming out the ps whatever it is the ps something for the boys they paying six hundred dollars for that you feel me like people are going to pay for what they want regardless but I feel like you should still make it worth it. You know, it should still be worth somebody while. Like, okay, if it's a $40 hairstyle, y'all see my hair is blow dry. And it's no shade towards girl that's blowing my hair. But if a hairstyle was going to be $400, that's some people's check. Then that should include a wash and blow dry. Y'all see I washed and blow dry my own hair because it's a requirement. And in my city, that's how every hairstylist is. They always want you to wash and blow your own hair. Um wash and blow should come with it you should oil the person's scalp it's not a protective style for real if the hair is not being taken care of underneath the hair and that does not happen in my city at all we do none of the stylists oil our scalps or care for our hair underneath and stylists that do do that i can always tell they are beginning stylists and then they end up changing and just not care for people hair up under the hair yeah and that's it and if like you want to go above and beyond you can have snacks for your um clients i'm just ready to get my hair done i just hope it be so 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 cute i'm just ready and i'm supposed to be going to my homegirl birthday party tonight so it just my hair has to be perfect literally so yeah y'all i'm gonna hit y'all up when i get there baby i don't know why you wanna do me I just got to my appointment it is 3 52 and y'all know my appointment is at 4 so i just texted her i told her my son i thought it was at a house i thought she said she home base but it definitely looked like that's not how she i'm about to call my man and so i go in so i'm gonna call y'all back i was gonna ask her if she wanted something for wendy's but she didn't answer hey can i get a uh, 10 piece nugget just the classic ones and then can i get a um small fry on the side and then sweet and sour with that sure, nope that'll be all, all right, okay okay so yeah um i was gonna ask her if she wanted something from wendy's but she not answering the phone i'll be right back with her she can't feel no type of way that i left because girl i called you and i left a message so you can't feel my type of way. It wouldn't even be fair. Here you go. Thank you. Hello. Hello. What's the deal, you all? So I made it here. We already started on my hair, and this is a K. She doing my hair. <laughs> Period. Her hair, uh huh. Her hair is so cute. Like I've been looking all around for somebody to do my hair, and if I don't find nobody, y'all, she has so much fucking hair. <laughs> That's one thing. When I go get my hair done, I'll be nervous because some people they be like, uh uh. <laughs> they be like, uh uh. I'm not doing your hair. So we sitting up here talking about like 
why she parts her stuff the way she do. And like I was saying when I was on the way here, like if you good at something, charge with your worth. It don't matter. You can't be worried about everybody else. And if they gonna pay it, they gonna pay it. They gonna and pay they it. Not, they not. And they not. And my back literally be on fire every day. Mm -mm. Feet be on fire. So I just, that's funny that she just said it because I be thinking about it, like, damn, the people that have been doing hair for like 30 years, I know they tired. Like, I mm -hmm. can't do 30 years in this. Mm -hmm. I can't. Because it's, it's bad on your body. Like I said, she won't even do a ponytail on my hair. Like, she won't even do that's how worn out she is like she done like she don't play around that's how worn out she, is. she worn done. out to the that's t i'm that talking to the t yeah like when i say she won't even cut my ends she won't do nothing involving hair and she tell me like i'm not playing i'm done with hair Ooh. like like that like she, she don't even probably like doing it no more she probably don't actually she, she mm, that's probably what it is. Mm. she probably just don't like doing it no more and her body fucked that both of those together? Yeah. That's a bow, man. When I tell you, my auntie is the coldest with this hair stuff. She could do anything. Like, she'll do hair shows, and she'll be putting turkeys on girls' heads. When I tell you, she get the down. Crazy. She, she get she down. down. She, she, she do not. <laughs> she do not play. <laughs> she do not play. So, for her to say she not doing hair no more, that junk blew my mind. I'm like, well, that's cool. You could just do my hair for my birthdays. She like, no, I'm not playing. <laughs> like, like this, 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 this not a joke. This, this, this not, is not a fire drill. This is not a drill. Okay. So, but I respect it. It is what it is. Like y'all didn't wear my auntie down. I can't even get a look. Damn. Makeup. She do a lot of stuff. She's super creative. But goddamn, we miss you in the hair world. You ever had it to like where you didn't have no storage and you paid for storage? Uh -huh. And then still ain't had no storage? Yeah, they're telling me I got to get two terabytes now. They said it's going to be like 15 or uh, 10 or 15 dollars a month. Oh my God. That's crazy. I can't believe they admitted to slowing our phone. Yeah, they down. said they slowing our phone when the phone came out. And what? Then, you know, I knew it was true. We all knew it was true anyway. Wow. Well, we knew that, but God but damn. Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> fucked up, ain't it, though? Damn. And just these bitches don't pop in. God. Is the cameras even getting better? Do you feel like they're getting better? Because I feel like I don't know. you had it in four minutes, you broke that bitch. Yes. Like the same one you had before. <laughs> Literally. Like, it'd be better for the moment. My videos do be clear, but I mean, every, every phone when you first get it, come on now. But I feel like my back camera way more clear than my front camera. Yeah, me too. Like that back camera. That back camera. Uh, <laughs> that, that black back camera, camera go yeah. dumb. Yeah. Another reason why I don't think I could ever leave Apple is because they clutch as fuck. Bro, I lost my phones in the mall. I called them off my mama phone and they helped me track that bitch down in Somerset. I swear to God, like they found my phone for me. They like it's right at this location. Girl, I was walking towards the lady on the phone. Like, yep, yeah, keep going. What? My was in the store. Yes. You and lying? I was on the phone to my mama phone, girl. They found my phone for me. Yes. What? And oh no. Nah. And it was dead. It was dead. Yeah. Oh no, I ain't never heard nothing like that. Your phone call Apple Store. They help you find your shit. What? Yeah. Straight help me find it. I was literally about to have a fucking break, mental breakdown, and I ain't had no passcode on my phone. Dang. Ooh. So motherfucker, as soon as they picked that up and charge it, what was the door with no with no passcode? Like? Some dumb shit. Uh uh. People don't even know. So what I was telling her is, I'm thinking about moving out the country, and she asked me like, where would I go? And I'm thinking like, what is it, Dubai? Is it Dubai? I was thinking about going to Africa. Mexico seemed a little bit cool. Like how they, um, they, they cost the living is lower. I mean, like they get less money, but they cost the living is lower too. But like, it's a lot of places we can like, go. Um, I had gotten this man Uber one time and he told me that his family lives over there and he just be going back. Like he worked here and mm -hmm. he just be going back and forth. Mm, from Mexico? Yeah. He mixed. was black? No, he was like a, um, Mexican. probably mixed. Mm. Yeah. Because this is the thing, and I got to show you this video. I sent it to you on Instagram, but basically, they want us to think that America is just like the best place to live. Oh, we got yeah, the most one. freedom. And like, we don't. we don't. Like, people really think that this is the only place you can get freedom. That is not true. A lot of places got freedom. And a lot of places, well, yeah, they probably pay you less in some other um, countries, but, but the, cost the, of the cost of living is lower. We get paid more, but we still putting that right back into their yeah, pockets. Yeah. So it really don't make sense. We have to pay for literally everything. everything. When I say everything, and if you not know real adults, you don't know. 
Yeah, if you know, you know. <laughs> if you know, you know. Did What's you ever get the COVID vaccine? Uh-uh. I ain't get it either. I, ain't I never got it. And I don't want it. Okay, at first, they had dropped it to like three to like seven day quarantine. But now they saying you don't have to quarantine no days. Yeah. To go to work and school, the second you find out My you got COVID. Girl, they told that bitch, come to work. I the next day? I, I, like, she had it for like two days. They, come her to, they want her to come back to work. What? Sort of I swear to God, she working in the hospital. <gasps> Now that's dead wrong. Mm -mm, they no. don't. They don't have really have no downtime no more for uh, COVID. And that's why I'm just asking my other client. You just talking about that. I'm like, what kills me is even though I'm not taking away nothing from nobody dying because I know personally people that have died from COVID. Right, right. How are we now a COVID? Like COVID is a common flu. Exactly. It is turned into a common flu. That shit is just weird. To but me. that make know. it the problem. They saying like, okay, well now. Like the reason why they're not doing the whole quarantine no more, quarantine thing no more, because they having like less cases of people like you know having really bad symptoms from it. But at the same time, it's people that can't get COVID. I gotta go home to take care of my grandma. Like I can't be getting COVID. Yeah. I can't be getting COVID. Like you gotta think about people's families, but they don't care about that. And that's the thing that's all messed up about America. Oh my God, America just. And they really make them they, think. And they some money hungry ass bitches too. I don't like that shit. Like, mm -hmm. They just so money hungry here. Everything is about money. Everything about money. Mental health is actually real. Even though we don't be respecting it the way that we should. Mental health is real. Yeah. I started taking my mental health real this year. Like I got in therapy and everything. I really? I just believe in it. Yes, and they changed my life. Really? Therapy changed my life. Really? The shit I used to think about. Like how like my perspective on shit. I used to be like oh my god. Like you thinking about that shit all the way wrong. Really? Because you know everything really is about perspective for real. Uh huh. And I'm telling you that shit changed my whole mindset of like going to therapy. Wow. How both of y'all can get out the car. Because I didn't tell you. Get your friend on beating your ass too. So both of y'all get out the car. Because I'm not about to keep arguing with y'all. Like, what you talking about? Yeah, yeah, you didn't follow me. Foot, bitch, like, <laughs> what's up? Like, I don't care how big I am. y'all coming around this bitch for some McDonald's. Literally. Y'all like, damn near trying to come check my temperature. No, they was. You had to be. Because why did you follow me to the gas station? Why did you follow me to the gas station? And tagging, that's antagonizing, though. Literally. Literally. So when she followed me, it was like up. Like, her, her following you, you never fucking follow nobody. Like, literally, you can't do that. If anybody, I should have been the one calling the police. Like, what? But that's not your white person for you. Go ahead. So, boom, I get over there. And like I said, they follow me. So I'm arguing with them. And I'm like, bro, get out the car. I'm so mad. Now I'm heated. Because y'all like, didn't follow me. Y'all didn't follow, didn't follow me. So now I'm on that. Because you came over here, you rolled your window down. So be on that. What are you talking about? Like, I was either in Kentucky or Texas. I can't. Oh, I think yeah. I was probably in Kentucky, probably. Because for those white bitches to follow you on Hop on Tip, that's crazy. See, yeah, they don't need to do that here. And they don't. But they was on that. But they wasn't on that because they would have got out the car. So, I ain't gonna lie, they kind of let me off because I was underage driving with a car full of minors. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was underage driving, no license, no permit car full of uh minors like i said and we was leaving from a football game it was real late at night my tail light was out like everything hey, my girl was in the wall, like all yeah the way, all the way all the way, way. Back from front to back to back i don't even think i had an insurance like it was bad it was real real bad yeah. i took all my girls out we, we went out far to get to that football game too but we on the way back and i ended up getting pulled over i said oh y'all i got something to tell y'all <laughs> <laughs> the girls don't even know I ain't got none of my shit together. So I'm so I'm, I'm explaining this to them at that moment. Like, hey, y'all, so I don't got none of, I, like, y'all not supposed we to be, right we, like, we, it's bad right now. So I need everybody to just chill out. They're like, okay, we're going to calm down. I say, everybody just calm down because I don't know what they finna do. I don't got nothing that I'm supposed to have. Boom. So they end up pulling us over. He asked me for all the stuff. Obviously, I don't got none of it. And then they just having us wait, 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 wait. I, call, I said I was in the suburbs. So I was out there with the people that they don't play like that. So whatever. He ended up coming back and he was like, uh, yeah, step off the car. <laughs> oh my God. What was your friend saying? I think we was on the freeway too. Yeah, I think we was, we was on the freeway. I think he took my keys and then he was like, uh, yeah, we're going to have to take y'all in. <laughs> Boo. We all in the back of the police car. We end up leaving my car right there. And then we end up going to some prank sink or something. I don't know where we went. It was some holiness place or whatever. And then they was like, y'all got to have y'all parents pick y'all up. I said, oh, that's a relief. <laughs> they ain't take us to jail. Oh, and then I think they they uh told my car. So I had to go pay to get my car out. That's the most they're going to do, though, is to get that car towed. 
Oh, that's the only thing he could have did. Man, he could have followed me home. I told him that too. Like, damn, I'll go straight to the crib. Like, clearly I can drive. And that's another thing. He did say that. He was like, um, it was nothing wrong with y'all driving. It was just that your light was out. That's all he said. He was just like, you weren't even doing so, over. Wasn't even for the light being out, you would have been good. I would have been good. He told me himself, like, if your driving wasn't bad. It was literally just your light being out. That's why I put you over. And I'm like, man, fuck that light. You see, I can drive. Exactly. So that's exactly. all that matters. That's great. I never heard nothing like that in my life. I'm a bitch of Chanel Will you be my leading lady? I wanna call you and get a little maybe In the meantime Get some me time I Myself. Don't need 